It was during my fifth year of teaching. There was a little boy. I saw the look on his face and he was so frustrated. And it was the same look that I saw on my dad's face when I was a little girl. And I realized that my um, dad couldn't read. I used to read the union contracts to him. And I said, Daddy, I really want to be a teacher. And he had this grin on his face. And he said, maybe you can teach this old man to read. I had Daddy tell me, how do you grow tomatoes? So he told me, and I wrote it all down for him. And I taught him his letters and sounds and used his words. And my Daddy was the first person I taught to read. My profession transforms lives. So it's a very serious job, and I take it to heart. <laughs> You're a good sport. The working class needs someone to be a voice for them, and I come from that family, and someone was a voice for me. You know, I was a free lunch kid. My family for a while was on food stamps. Someone thought about, well, let's put some Pell Grants in so kids can go to college, or let's do work study where I work and get paid. Those things are being eliminated in the budget, and when I saw that, I was furious. She's my go-to person with all of the people that she's worked with over the years in education, the parents, the children. She has a real grip on what's happening in the real world. She's gonna bring real life to DC. When I helped her in their classroom that day, I just knew that's what I was meant to do. She was like, oh my gosh, I love this. And I said, well, go back to school and be a teacher. I can't do that. I, you know, I barely got out of high school. And I'm like, yes, you can. I believe in you. I'm the first and only one in my immediate family to have gone to college and graduated. The biggest thing with being a military kid is deployments. My dad was gone for nine months and it was really hard, but it's like she transfers that energy she has to you. Educators train the workforce. We have to teach them to be critical thinkers, problem solvers, how to work collaboratively together more than anything else. That's why she wants to go to Washington because I think she wants to help the district. She wants to help everybody nationally. And anybody who meets her knows whatever she sets her mind to, she's going to make it happen. I've lived here for almost 30 years. I was the mom you saw every Friday night in the concession stand. I have those deep roots and connections throughout the district, and I understand all the different points of view. Everyone in America should have health care. That helps us be a healthy country so we can work and we can provide for our families. When children don't have health insurance, the nurse at the school becomes their primary care physician. So someone has to be able to look to the future and every decision that you make as a legislator transforms lives. I don't get intimidated. I fight and stand up for what I believe. I'm a union daughter. I grew up fighting and so I'll get frustrated and I'll get mad about something and my mom used to say, well, what are you gonna do about it? I'm tired of being the one talking to legislators. It's time for us to stand up and become the legislators.